This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, where is the project primitive deformer located? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a simple DynaMesh sphere here loaded in. And the question is asking about where the project primitive deformer is located. So the deformers inside of ZBrush are located inside the Gizmo 3D. So first you wanna make sure that you're in edit mode, and then to activate the Gizmo 3D, we just need to switch out of draw and switch into move, scale, or rotate. This can be done by clicking the buttons here or pressing W, E, or R on your keyboard. Now after you switch into one of these modes, the Gizmo 3D should appear on your model. Now if the Gizmo 3D does not appear on your model, you wanna also make sure that you have the Gizmo 3D button right here active as well and this can be toggled by pressing Y on your keyboard. Now when this button is active, you should have the Gizmo 3D visible on your model, and if it is deactivated, you should now have the transpose line. So pressing Y on your keyboard while you're in move, scale, or rotate mode will toggle the Gizmo 3D and the transpose line. For the deformer palette, we wanna make sure that this is toggled on. Now once you have the Gizmo 3D visible, at the very top here, there's an icon that looks like a gear, and this is the Customize menu. So if we click this icon, this will open up this other palette here. And at the top, you'll have a bunch of primitives that you can modify. And then below that, you'll have a series of deformers. These deformers will allow you to modify your selected subtool with different features. So you can apply bevels, creases, offsets, slices, scaling, tapering, twisting, and a bunch of other different processes. Now the deformer that we're looking for for this video is the Project Primitive Deformer. And that is currently listed right here. So to get to this menu, once again, first make sure you are in edit mode. Make sure you're in move, scale, or rotate. You have the Gizmo 3D active. And then with the Gizmo 3D active, come to the gear icon or the customize menu, click that, and then select the project primitive deformer. Now after you have the project primitive deformer selected, you can now start manipulating these primitive shapes and have them projected on the surface of your model. This process will allow you to get some really nice blending effects inside of ZBrush. For more information on using the Project Primitive Deformer, please check out the videos on Z Classroom. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.